You're at Lake Rant, where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Tony Jabroni, who says, Rant about Monkey Jones going full retard. If you haven't kept up and don't know what I mean, he has several videos on his channel explaining his side of the story, and there's also the Mr. Meat Man video exposing him. TLDR, he cheated on his girlfriend with a furry who sexually groomed a 15-year-old, moved away to his home state, started drowning out his emotions with SSRIs and a slew of other things. He's gone totally off the deep end and seems intent on doubling down on his bad decisions and destructive attitude. What do you think of the situation he's gotten himself into? Do you empathize with or pity him? Do you feel vindicated in being one of the first to call him out on his manipulative streak back during the PCP drama? Um, I wouldn't say I feel vindicated. I mean, I think that this... I don't think that anything that's happening with Monkey right now should be a huge surprise to anybody, really. I mean, he has always portrayed himself as a very depressed, suicidal person who, you know, doesn't have the best handle on his life. I mean, I don't think the way he's acting now is so fundamentally different from the way he was before. He might be coming off different because of the drugs. And granted, I have not watched any of the videos about him or surrounding him. I don't watch Mumkey's stuff. You know, I'm not really that interested um, in his narrative. I, you know, I think some of it's funny to hear about. All the Lou the Kitty shit is hilarious. Like, I don't know how he could possibly lack the self-awareness to see how retarded that relationship is. Um, I don't know if he's just being more determined because of the fact that the internet is giving him shit. I don't know if it's just the drugs. I mean, I know that <sighs> Monkey has always been weird in a certain way where he, this is just me playing a uh, psychoanalyst right now, but um, Monkey always seems to put the world into a box. Like, he thinks that he knows everything. He seems to think that, like, that he doesn't imagine the possibilities that exist beyond what he currently understands. So, like, for instance, he had always just assumed that, do, that taking medications wouldn't work. Even though it has worked for tons of people and it has lots of different effects, um... He just assumed that it wouldn't work because he just can't conceive of things being different for him than the way that they are. And so I think that he probably has taken some drugs that really he shouldn't be taking. Because when you go to a psychiatrist, they just prescribe you basically something at random because they have no idea how it's going to affect you. Like, it's impossible for them to predict which medication is going to work for you and what effects it's going to have. So a lot of people have to go through a, you know, a bevy of different medications before they find one that really puts them in the frame of mind that they need to be to be the, you know, the most productive they can be. Um, and so, like, you know, I watched my brother uh, go through, like, five different medications. Some of them made him more depressed, more suicidal. You know, he was on Ritalin very briefly, and it made him act like a coke addict, and he was just, like, totally fucking off the rails. And, uh, you know, none of those things he considered to be working for him. And he never found a medication that worked for him. He ended up just basically realizing... It basically doing those medications made him understand what his depression was. And that gave him a frame of mind to deal with it. And he basically pushed through it by putting himself into a position where he really loves his life. And just thinking positively about his life. Um, and, you know, even if the depression instinct is still there he can push through it through his understanding and his ability to you know uh look at his life and be proud of it um you know for me i had medication briefly for like a year and a half that basically the main effect it had on me was to make me just not care that much which seems to be what monkey has been saying about his medication is that it just makes him not care um though it seems like his He's been acting weird. I was never really acting weird on my medication. I think he should be concerned about the fact that he's acting weird. I think he views it as, I'm different and that's good. Like, oh, it fixed me. I'm happy now because I've never felt differently from how I felt before. And now that I feel differently, that's good. Um, he's not considering the possibility that maybe there's a different drug that would have a better effect. Maybe there's a drug that can make him happy and not make terrible decisions or not come off as a fucking psycho to everybody. Um, I think that he's he really believes that people are just like... Um, 
people just want him to be the old depressed monkey. That like people just liked his old gimmick and they don't like it now that he's acting different. And I really don't think people feel that way. I think people are legitimately concerned. I think he has a lot of fans who really want the best for him and who are really not okay with the fact that it doesn't seem like he's making the best decisions. So I, I guess if, if I had a message to Mumkey, it would be like, wake up to the fact that people are serious about you. Like, people are not memeing. They're not just, like, bullying you. People are concerned, and they know more than you do. Considering that you don't know fuck about psychiatry at all. You don't really understand psychology in the first place. Like, in my interactions with him, he definitely doesn't know fuck about psychology. He seems to think that because he is depressed, he is the expert on depression. Nobody could possibly know more than this 22-year-old about depression just because he lived through it. Never mind that millions of people deal with it all the time, who are much older and have dealt with much more experience, who have actually communicated with other depressed people for long periods of time and been surrounded by them. You know, people who like haven't been completely like isolated and locked into their own mind thinking that they are the smartest person in the room at all times and therefore not listening to anybody else or really considering their perspectives or experience uh you know if maybe he just listened to people who know what the fuck they're talking about he could get himself into a better position um but i think that because of the fact that he just feels so much better than he did before in a general way he can't reconcile that with the fact that people are concerned about him. He just thinks, oh, I'm all good now. Um, monkey, you're not okay. If everybody's telling you you're not okay, you're not okay. Uh, you know, whoa. it's what are the odds that you would be the only one right about this? Lou the Kitty's fucking insane. I mean, all I've heard from her was about 15 seconds of May clicked on the FNGR stream that she was on, and everyone was accosting her for uh, being in love with a 15-year-old, and she's just screaming, uh, it's legal where he's from, he's in Italy, it's legal there, and it's like, okay, well, nobody cares about if it's legal. It's, uh, like, we did, the reason it's illegal here is that we have all come to an agreement that we find it morally reprehensible to, as an adult, try to, you know, pursue romantic relationships with a teenager who can't make decisions. Like, you're not going to convince a bunch of Americans who came to the decision that they thought 18 was the proper age that just because it's legal somewhere else, it is therefore okay. And it's especially funny because she's talking like Monkey's video that made him famous, which is the B Got to HK review about the uh, aphebophilia, like defending aphebophilia, which was an, intended to be a sarcastic parody and which Monkey like has explicitly said he doesn't really feel like it's okay. And yet this girl clearly found out about him because she is an aphebophile and thinks that like, oh, this justified my opinions. Um, really fucking funny. That's the part I get the most joy out of. I don't really want to see somebody dragged through the mud. I wouldn't want to see Monkey kill himself. Um, you know, in my heart of hearts, what I would hope the most is for him to become a better person. For him to, you know, see himself as somebody who's been an asshole, who, um, you know, can rectify that and can get himself to a position where he's happy without scaring everyone, you know, and without making decisions that are blatantly bad. But he's never going to be that way until he, like, can listen to people and, like, recognize that, again, he's not the smartest person in the room. Probably in any room that he's in. Uh, that's all I have to say about him.